Okay. Uh, this is a question that's come in um, in response to the news newsletter asking for questions for the next Ask Loopy spot. Um, and it, from Suzanne, it was with regard to knitting stripes, um, trying to avoid having lots of ends to sew in at the end and to keep those edges neat. So what I'm doing, just coming to the end of this row, pearl row, and I'm going to be changing, I'll change the colour on this one. So. When you need to make sure that when you're changing colour, you're going to be twisting those threads. So that one, turn around and just make sure that, that thread that you're working with is twisted round with one from underneath. Hold that in place, and I'm going to be knitting across, and then get back to that edge, and I'll show you how I carry the yarn up the side. I say every four to six, if you're doing stripes, four to six rows in depth, then you can do this. Otherwise, they recommend that you cut it and then sew in the ends. It's down to your personal preference really. You just need to remember that those edges just may be a little thicker than normal. Right, so coming to the end of this pearl row, what I'm going to do is bring up the th thread of the colour below up the side and it just secures it in place and avoids having loops going. So Put your needle in to pearl, just catch the yarn from the colour below over the needle and I'll just pearl through those and you've got that's held secure as you turn over and then knit in place. Now there will be times when you're not going to be able to do this, you're going to have to actually cut it off and sew in the ends and then what you would do is secure those two edges of the two colours, the two strands with a butcher's knot. Oh sorry, a butcher's knot, a surgeon's knot which will just prevent it from sliding around and coming undone. All right, if I get to into this, um, because this yarn's not particularly slippery, I usually just do the one part of it. All right, so just hook that over, and that secure that in place. So if you were having to knot it off, change it. So your left, over your right, and just twist that over a couple of times. And then just pull that tight. This is brushed, so that's quite secure as it is. But if it was a slippery one, then what you would do is what's now in your right hand over your left and there. And then you just sew those ends in 